Hello again, everyone. Hopefully you're all feeling pretty good coming off of that second exam. I know that symbolic logic can be pretty tough for some people. Hopefully you all did fairly well. Now we're going to move on to, again, some fairly different material here, jumping into chapter 10 to look at geometry. This is very much high school level geometry for the most part. If you're still familiar with that stuff, you're going to be all right. If you're not, well, it'll be a refresher at the very least. So we're starting in section 10.1 with defining the very basic structures of geometry, looking at things like points, lines, and angles. So there's going to be some picky notation here in terms of how we define points, lines, angles, that sort of thing. But really the most important stuff for me is being able to understand how you can visualize and interpret and recognize similarities, I suppose you could say, between different angles to make some connections in terms of different structures with things like parallel lines and transversals and all of that fun stuff that you probably haven't thought about in a few years. Then in 10.2, we're gonna go from lines to shapes with the most basic shape looking at the triangle. So we're gonna talk about you know, different kinds of triangles as well as some of the basic things you can do with triangles in terms of right triangles and the Pythagorean theorem where later on we're going to get to stuff with trigonometry as well, which I know scares some people, but we'll get there eventually. And then in 10.3, we're going to be looking at work with more general polygons. So we're going to look at quadrilaterals and then other shapes as well as the angles we can have within a polygon and then a special structure called a tessellation, which is basically just a puzzle with fixed repeated patterns. But we'll see that there at the end of the section. So for this week, we have pretty normal stuff again. We've got a worksheet to keep getting practice with these things. Don't forget about the feedback survey that's due at the end of this week. And we also have some MyLab deadlines for, well, kind of next week with how our, our calendar is shaking out. You know, hopefully you're starting to get the sense that we're getting pretty far in here. I'm actually getting close, pretty close to spring break. So some of those deadlines are going to be a little bit fuzzier than usual. But that's what we've got with this stuff in my lab, as well as a pre-assessment to help prepare for the rest of chapter 10. But let's get in here and let's think about some shapes with basic geometry. Be in there in a minute. 